Welcome to lecture 7. In this lecture we'll take a look at our Strawberry 3D model and import it into our scene. We start in the project folder structure to place all the files of the model in the right directories. As you see we have the assets folder, inside the assets folder the model folder and inside the model folder the textures folder. That folder already contains our earth map. From the GLTF version of the strawberry model we have downloaded as a zip file, we take the texture, which is the diffuse map, and place it in the textures folder. Then we take the bin and GLTF file and put them in the root of our model folder. To make things a little bit more comprehensible, we rename these files into strawberry. Then this should be the result. In Visual Studio Code you can open the GLTF file. When you do so you will notice it's formatted in JSON. We need to make two changes in the GLTF file. The first one is the name of the binary file. As we have changed it from scene into strawberry, we need to change the reference in the JSON file. You find it under the property buffers and the key URI. So change the name of the reference from scene into strawberry. The second change has to do with the material. Already in our earth model we discovered that materials can be used one or two sided. For the material of our GLTF model, we need to add the property double sided and set it to true. At the top of our script, after we have loaded the FreeJS library, we also need to load the GLTF loader module. Then we adjust our list of variables. We take out everything that has to do with our earth object and introduce strawberry because that will be the variable where we store our strawberry 3D model. We also need to make an adjustment in the GLTF loader module itself. At the beginning of this module, things are imported from the FreeJS library. But in our project, the path to this library is different. So we need to adjust the path to where we have stored our module version of the FreeJS library. Now it's time to load our strawberry model. It's a bit like the texture loader we have used for our earth map. So inside the init function, we make a constant strawberry loader, which is an instance of the GLTF loader. Now we can apply the load method. As first argument it takes in the path as string to our GLTF model. The other arguments are anonymous functions. The first one takes in the GLTF file. From this GLTF file we take the scene, which is a convention for let's say everything of the model, and assign it to our strawberry variable. This means that our variable now contains the model or our 3D object. And so we can set other properties like position, rotation, scale and add it to our FreeJS scene just like what we did with our earth object. The third argument or second anonymous function takes in the XHR which stands for XML HTTP request. This is the manner in which the file is loaded and here is used to update about the progress of the loading. Because our strawberry model is relatively small this information is only sent to the console. However, working with larger models, it might be useful to use this information for a loading bar. The fourth argument and third anonymous function handles errors and will throw them into an alert. And that's it, so now we have loaded our strawberry model into our strawberry variable and added it to our scene. The only thing we still need to do is to rotate our strawberry just what we did with our earth object. So in the animate function we update the rotation of the strawberry over the y-axis. Let's take a look at the result. We open our index.html file with the live server and this is what we see, a rotating strawberry. But if we open the console we notice there's an error. It says that the rotation cannot be applied because the strawberry is still undefined. This makes sense because our animation already starts while our strawberry model is being loaded. Therefore you see after a little while and when the strawberry model is loaded that the error stops. At that moment the strawberry variable is no longer undefined and we see our strawberry model rotating. It means that the manner in which we rotate our strawberry is not very elegant and that we need to change it. We'll do so later when we introduce the orbit controller because then it's the camera that rotates around the strawberry and not the strawberry itself that rotates. For now we leave things as they are and accept this error. See you in the next lecture.